Hello everyone, my name is Asta. I welcome you all to our classes for International English Olympiad for class 5th. Today we will be doing our 20th class which is about spoken and written expression. It is uh, one of the easier topics wherein what we have to do is uh, just understand and use the best response in the given situation. Alright, so this is going to be, this is going to vary from situation to situation. You will understand it better once we do the questions. So let's get started. So what is our topic for the day? This means which topic are we going to study today after which you will be able to very easily handle the questions of IEO. Now today we are going to do spoken and written expression. Now spoken and written expression may hum kya karne wale hain that we will see on the next slide. Now spoken and written expression may this basically tests your communication skills, your expression skills in which what do we have to do? We have to choose an appropriate response as per the situation which means there will be a situation given to you there will be a dialogue given to you there uh, there might be some sort of question or some si some sort of a request some sort of an order and then there will be four options out of which you will have to choose which is the most appropriate response to that particular given question or scenario or scene all right now this will be clearer to you once we start doing the questions yes so we will understand the same with sample questions themselves so now these sample questions they will act as uh, more questions for you and also they will act as uh, they will act as a sort of the act as sort of examples as well so let's start with these sample questions themselves all right so now we will be starting off with the quiz and as and when we start doing the questions and we uh, take them one by one you will not only understand the various examples um, you will not only take them as various examples but also understand how the appropriate response to various kinds of scenarios and various kinds of questions is exactly to be given all right so let's start now for every question you will be given one minute one minute 60 seconds you will be given as per the time out now for uh, why am i giving you 60 seconds because for every iu question you are given more than 60 seconds in the final exam so i have given you for one minute diya hai. Ab isme do category of students honge. one category jo less than one minute mein apne question solve kar lete hain so jab ye kar lete hain to you should to agar aapne jaldi question solve kar liya to aap fast forward karke aap answer dekh lijiye par wo category jo students jo students ye 1 minute mein answer nahi de pate hain to aapko dishearten nahi hona hai dukhi nahi hona hai aap pause kare aur pehle apna answer de jo bhi answer aapko lag raha hai sahi hai wo aap answer likhe uske baad hi aap answer dekhe ye you should make sure ki aap koi bhi question skip na kare aap sab ke answer de chahe wo sahi ho ya galat wo secondary cheez hai most more important is ki aap pehle answer de okay so and for every correct answer you give yourself 10 points and for every incorrect answer no points why no points because ieo mein there is no negative marking aapka answer chahe galat ho 
या फिर आपने आंसर नहीं किया हो तो आपको जीरो ही मिलेगा ओके सो इट इज बेटर कि सपोज अगर आप किसी क्वेश्चन में कंफ्यूजन है कि इसका आंसर क्या होगा नहीं समझ आ रहा तो आपने उसे छोड़ना नहीं है आपने उसको आंसर करना है और चाहे आपको लग रहा हो कि ये शायद ये आंसर सही हो सकता है बी या सी से तो आप उसे पक्का पॉइंट आउट करके आओ मतलब उसे ओ एम आर शीट पे मार्क करके आओ बिकॉज देर आर चांसेस कि वो आपका आंसर सही हो जाए ऑल राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट Now we start with the questions. What do we have to do in here? We have to choose the best response from the given options. Let me give you a scenario or a dialogue to which we have to choose the appropriate response. Let's see. Simmer only thinks about herself. Now, what could be the response? B. A. I'm afraid you're sad. B. It's nice of her to do so. C. Oh, she's so mean. D. It's good to see you. Okay, so here let's analyze. We're talking about Simmer only thinks about herself, which means we're talking about how selfish Simmer is. So here, what would be the appropriate response? C. Oh, she is so mean. So we are talking about her selfish and mean mean nature. That's why we can say, oh, she is so mean. All right. Other options A. We're talking about sadness. There's no sadness here. B. It's nice of her to do so. No, it's not nice of her to do so because Simmer only thinks about herself. D. It's good to see you. This makes no relevance here. Okay. <laughs> so miserable now i'm asking c my employer was generous or d i have another question so here you see when this person says i have lost my job this is a sad situation this is this is a bad time for him so you can say i feel so miserable all right and for the other ones now i'm asking this is about a question that this person will be asking employer was generous this also doesn't make sense do i have another question this is not a q and a session so not another question
is a bit overweight. So what could be the response to this? A. Am I dreaming? B. So what? She has a great personality. C. She needs to cut down. Or D. I am hungry. Okay, so you see we're talking about this person, Archie, who's a bit overweight. Alright, now here the correct response could be, so what? She has a great personality. Means no matter if she is overweight, uh, it's okay. You know, whenever she feels like she'll move on to the, she'll move on to healthier option. Otherwise, you don't even know why she's overweight, right? And anyway, it doesn't matter why, because she has a great personality. Then other options, A, am I dreaming? Doesn't make sense here. C, she needs to cut down. Now, this could be said in the reality scenario by many people, but this is a mean response, right? The correct response could be, so what? She's a great personality. She's a good person. Not the one. She's a good person and she's a great personality, so it doesn't matter if she's overweight. Your weight does not define you, right? D, I'm hungry. This also has no relevance here. reaching the office. You'll have to wait another 10 minutes. So what could be the response to this? A. That's okay. I'm not in a hurry. B. Oh, I would love. C. That wasn't very nice. Or D. That's a good thing. Now here the response this person is telling Mohit. Mohit, I'm just reaching the office. You'll have to wait another 10 minutes. So for this the response could be that's okay, not in a hurry. This is a respectable and polite response. Alright, the other ones don't make sense here. Now the next question says, I'm afraid I won't be able to come to office tomorrow. So what could be the appropriate response in this situation? A. Your boss will be pleased by you. B. Oh, well, never mind. We'll see you the day after. C. Still we will wait for you. Still we will wait for you. So here the correct answer, I mean the most appropriate response when someone says, you know, they might not be able to come to office tomorrow or when in your case someone says you might not be able to come to school tomorrow. They could have said, oh, well, never mind. We'll see you the day 
after tomorrow. All right. Alright, so now in this category of questions, what you have to do is choose the best option to complete the dialogue. So here, first person is going to say this. So what could be the second person's reply? We have to figure that out. First person says, do you need any help with your luggage? What could the second person say? No thanks, I'll manage. No, I don't help. C, yes, I'll carry it. Or D, no, I don't believe strangers. Here are the appropriate responses. A. No thanks, I'll manage. Now if first person is asking the second one if they need any help. You can say no thanks, I'll man manage. For the B one it doesn't suit because the first person itself is asking the second one if, he, if uh, that person helps. So here no I don't help is inappropriate. C, yes, I'll carry it is also inappropriate because they're not asking the second person to carry it. D, no, I don't believe strangers. This is rather a rude reply. Okay, here there's a dialogue between Jack and Nick. Jack says something to which Nick replies something to which Jack again says something. So what would Jack say for which Nick would, Nick would reply? Yes, of course. How much do you need? And then Jack would say, I just need enough for taxi fare. So what could have been the Jack, what could have been uh, Jack's dialogue? Let's see. Nick, won't you help me with some change? B. Excuse me, could you help me? A C, give me some change. A D, I need some change. Now here the appropriate responses, appropriate, a polite and respectful um, dialogue would be A. Nick, won't you help me with some change? Right?
over here. First person says, I have joined the Skyways Jet Airlines. What could be the second person's response? A. Why didn't you tell? B. I don't believe him. C. You're lying. D. Really? When did you apply for this job? So here the most practical appropriate response seems D. Really? When did you apply for this job? Right? Showing interest in whatever the person has said and also acknowledging it exclaiming with excitement. Here, the next question, next dialogue rather. First person says, are you free for dinner in the evening? The second person, what could the second person reply? They could reply many things, but what could be the most appropriate one? A, no problem. B, yes, I'm not. C, certainly what time in the evening? Or D, why not? The correct answer is C, certainly what time in the evening? As I said in the previous question, you reply with certain inquisitiveness, curiosity that you know what time in the evening and also acknowledge it that yes, certainly. All right. Okay, now here the first person says, oh, my favorite ice cream. What could be the second person's reply here? A, my pleasure. B, it's not okay. C, it was so cheap. Or D, my children don't like it. So here, which one is the polite appropriate reply? A, my pleasure. Someone is appreciating. You got them their favorite ice cream, thanking you. So you can politely reply and say, my pleasure. You can't really say it's not okay or, you know, mm, it's okay, you know, the ice cream was so cheap or that my children don't like it. That's why I gave it to you. All these are, all these are not, uh, not suitable or appropriate responses. <laughs>
right here choose the correct option to complete the conversation let's see ravi asks maya when did you reach the station maya on 5 o'clock at 5 o'clock c over 5 o'clock d god knows correct answer is b at 5 o'clock why at because uh, in prepositions we learned that at is used to tell some definite time a particular place and here d god knows this is a rather rude reply all right and it means you know i don't know only god knows when i reached says let's eat out what could be na reply a take my order b can i order here c wow that sounds a nice idea or d take that so here the appropriate response is here c wow that sounds nice idea all right appreciating and showing excitement as well Tanu asks Rima, "Is your test result out?" Now, what could be Rima's reply here? A, it's not in. B, no, not yet. C, what's outside? Or D, what's the matter? Here, the appropriate reply could be B, no, not yet. Right. With this, we finish off with the questions of spoken and written expression. all right so that's all for our class in spoken and written expression i hope you have understood what kind of questions are going to be asked it's going to be pretty easy so there isn't really much that you can do about it all you have to do is make sure you have a good hold over the language which as i told you you can develop by reading and writing and listening and uh, you know all these just involving english in your life all right So that's all for this class I will see you the next time thank you for watching